All right. So I was on my channel yesterday, I think it was, and somebody said that this vegan deterioration made a video about me or like a review video about me. I don't know anything about her other than Jillian asked me about her a couple years ago. It was a couple years ago already. I said, I don't know who she is, but um, whatever. Um, and I think she almost lost her channel because the whole thing. Um, this person, I think, has been making comments. Anyway, I did watch this video last night, and like, I really wish people would watch. Like, if you're gonna do a reaction video on somebody, like, know what they've been through. Don't just do a reaction off one video. I knew as soon as I made this damn video that somebody was gonna do this because every time I make one of these videos where I'm kind of irritated, somebody reviews it. <laughs> And it's. I got a comment here with the video suggestion. It says, "Please review this link." And he's been vegan. And this obese thing. When I think of an obese person, I think of somebody that's like completely sloth-like, doesn't do anything. Like you couldn't outlift me. You couldn't outride me on a bike. Like I'm sorry. Like this is ridiculous. Like a, this obese comment. Like ah, I want to say fuck off. McDougal, yes, I did McDougal. I don't, does he have a diet, Peter Rogers? I've had him on the channel. Does I mean I've followed Nutrition by Victoria? Uh, he doesn't really have a diet style either. They kind of follow, well, Peter Rogers, I'm not even sure. I think he kind of does McDougal, but he's a OMAD. Uh, so, not, and Dury Rider, no, not really. That's not how I lost the weight. And yes, you know, here's the thing nobody ever fucking talks about this, right? I was over 400 pounds at one point. If you want to call me obese, then fine. I'm not, I haven't, like, I've lost the majority of the weight. Like, it, it, it's just my brain sticks on fight or flight, and it just doesn't come off. So it does make it very hard for me to. Dr. Peter Rogers, in nutrition by whatever. Victoria, but is still obese on the vegan diet. On the link that they gave me, and now I'm at Gotta Ryan Talty HCR. I don't know what HCR. I changed my name back to high carb generator just because i'm going to take my actual name and start another channel and talk about other things because this our stands for if you know you can tell me um but the video is called <laughs> i added wheat and gummies to the rice diet and gained weight i don't know what rice diet he's talking about the only rice diet i've ever heard of was the one dr peter rogers uh his one of his idols was um doing back in the day where people were eating some super, super, super low calorie rice diet and basically being tortured, but they did lose weight because they were starving. So I hope it's not that diet, but let's hit play and see what. That's a simplification. What's up over here on Ryan Talty HCR. Welcome to my channel. I can't see if my hair looks good. Does not look good? Hair. It looks good. I, I wanted to make an up. I know that people think that I say all vegans are going to get emaciated, they're all going to get sickly and skinny, and if they're not, then I think they're cheating. I think that some vegans are cheating when they look healthy and they look obviously like they're not real vegans. What the hell does that mean? What does that mean? In this case, this man has been vegan, uh, according to that comment, for 14 years, and to me... Um, no, I haven't. It started in 2011. I do believe that, at least for the very most part... He's not a chigan, and I, I do. He looks vegan to me. I'll just say that. Update to the rice diet. Life. I don't know what that means. In spite of not being like emaciated looking, he looks vegan. Video things that I've been doing. It's kind of. I fucking hate this video. I like the rice diet journey that I've been on. And I've been adding different things in to see how they work and how they don't work. A lot of the comments are, well, you should just do durian rider style and blah, blah. I haven't been sleeping. I go through this my entire life. So my commentary is probably going to be unique. Blah, blah, like, this is my thing. I'm trying it. If you don't like it, don't, you know, like, don't watch it, whatever. I have been adding in wheat. I've been adding in the gummies from Trader Joe's that don't have any dyes in them. I've been doing a couple other different things just to see what. I knew this video. I, I actually am contemplating just taking it down. It's working and what's not. The reality is, is the only reason I made this video is because I just bought an adapter for my camera so I could use um, my Canon lenses from 1966. That's literally the reason this video exists.
not. And I have noticed that since I've added in, now this could have no. <laughs> I can't believe me testing out lenses. Reason. No correlation whatsoever. It might not have any bearing whatsoever. I don't know. But my body loves 260 pounds, and I got down to 255. Speaking of which, my very rarely uh, complimentary family yesterday, because it was at my father's birthday party, were telling me how good I look. So I need to make more videos about how happy I am that I'm not over 400 pounds still in the last video and i'm back to 260 and i can't figure out why i should pat myself on the back i got that down to 260 i'm there i i have run this past some other people who so that's making it sound like he uh believes he gained the five pounds from the wheat and died did not say that <clears throat> so if i mean if this were in court this would be like leading i i didn't say that i said it's possible i really don't know I free gummies, okay. Are skinny themselves and did lose the weight, and it's kind of seeming like this. He's talking to people that he's he's labeling them and uh, calling them skinny. Okay, I think there's a difference between someone being skinny versus someone being lean versus someone being just you know fit for their body type or athletic looking versus like normal size and and so on. You know, but he's talking about skinny people, and I don't know. I don't know. When I think skinny, I think these people are like skinny, skinny. So I don't know who he's talking to. I don't know. Let's see. What's the relevance? That I mean, skinny to somebody is not going to be skinny to the other. But the people that I've been talking to don't like to be known. This is a hormonal thing. I don't understand it. You can make all the comments you want to. That's right. This reminds me of of the book that I read and I made a video about it, uh, about the Minnesota starvation, where there was two guys who didn't lose any weight the entire time. They, they lost like a little bit of weight in the initial period and they were the most heavily muscled and the most athletic. I do have a wall of fat over my muscle, but I do have a lot of muscle mass on me still. I don't even know if, it, if it'll- Look at that I arm. Know. I don't even know. At one point, my arms are 24 inches round. I don't have a tape measure anymore. A lot on my legs, my arms. And just Listen, everything. Um, I don't know how much he's listening to Dorian Ryder, but people like Dorian Ryder will say that his protocol works for everyone. And, you know, there is no such thing as a diet that's going to. All right. So here's the thing um, that we, we, we love to say is like that humans all need a different diet. And my argument to that is like, if you, if I see a squirrel outside eating nuts, and I go to California and I see a squirrel, it's probably not going to be out there killing mice, eating them. It's probably going to be eating nuts. Or like vice versa, like if you go to Africa and you see an, uh, a lion and he's eating animals, you're probably not going to come to a zoo and he's eating watermelon. Like, so why would we be the only species? on this planet that has a different diet doesn't make any sense yeah there is like different starches i mean really i mean think about it animals were unpredictable but starch is predictable so you're gonna have more starch around than you're going to i mean fruits isn't predictable either starch is really what you're gonna have as a staple around so it's, it makes way more sense than uh, meat does. I'm going to give the same results to every single person, even in a starvation experiment. And I'm not like one of these ethical vegans at all. I've made that really well known. Like I can't even imagine how many animals I've eaten over the years, especially at the point where I was eating between beef, chicken, pork, um, turkey, fish. Whey protein, eggs. It was upwards of 40 pounds a week. So, I can only imagine how much carnage I've caused. Where they were being. And I was getting like the best of the best because I worked in the food distribution industry. Like, I could get the best of the best. That a low calorie diet, even in that case, you're not going to get a 100% result all going in one direction. So, how can Dorian Ryder achieve that when it's not, it's just not possible? Okay, and now he's flexing his muscles. He does have muscle mass on his body, so he may just be a naturally muscular person, but...
I'm a big dude. Like I don't want to be skinny. Like 225 is my aim. Like that's like that's like even my sister yesterday is like that's almost too low for you. Uh, I know there's people out there that just do not like their natural body types. Like they just don't like it, and they're fighting it all the time. And it's very especially dangerous, I think, for women. Here's the thing. Like she's watched a how many minutes into this video? How does she even know what, what my stance is? She doesn't. Don't make a fucking video if you don't know what to dance. Um, they just don't like their natural body type, so they starve away their fertility and their hormones and, and all that. And it's dangerous for men, too. But you're based on the, the fact that his body is just has muscle on it like that. And you're listening to people that I would say are skinny, like people like Dorian Ryder. Sometimes it's, it's good to learn about the difference. I'm going to put a picture up uh, here again. Learn about what lady I was. Uh, I was like a physical trainer for years. I was sought after. I was a nutrition coach. And then all of a sudden my liver and my kidneys just stopped working. I mean, not stopped. I didn't die of it. And I could not process protein at all. And I started gaining weight like crazy. Even to this day, if I have, it's like, uh, I don't know, 75 grams or more of protein, my underarm starts smelling really bad. If I have it consecutive days, I start smelling like ammonia. Just my whole body. Different body types and what body type you might have. And all the body types can look amazing and fit and healthy for their type. Okay, Dorian Ryder is a naturally skinny type, in my opinion, because he's never shown himself losing some large amount of weight. I'm not naturally skinny. At all. He's been skinny. I don't want to be either. It looks funny to me. Like, I'm like, I don't know what, you know, it just looks weird. Every single picture anybody's ever seen of him. And Dorian Ryder, you know, this man right here is flexing his muscles, which seem to be natural muscles. Dorian Ryder. Man, if I was on steroids, like, <laughs> if I was going to go on steroids, I'd have done it in my 20s. This is just my opinion, okay? Dorian Ryder is taking steroids. He's been taking steroids. My traps would be like, like up here. If I was on Roy. For years, j just to look regular. He doesn't look muscular. He doesn't look built. He's taking steroids just to look regular. This is a naturally skinny person and probably would be just completely emaciated on his diet, but he's taking steroids just to look, you know, regular ish um, with nothing out of the ordinary muscle wise. So just, I I'm just going to hit play. I'm not really trying to give him advice or anything because I don't really know, but I would definitely advise to take a look at the people that you're listening to. And he said he's listening to. I'm not really listening. So I, I said, and did I not say in this video that I'm not doing Dorian Rider? People that are skinny. Uh, I don't know. You know, there's people out there that they just have a whole bunch of fat on their bodies and maybe for their metabolism, they start eating these weird carb only diets and all their felt, all their fat melts away and now they're just skinny. But someone else is a little more like naturally muscular. I don't know how this is going to work out for them. I don't really know. Very muscular still. It just, I can't. Yeah, Dream Rider will guarantee that you will get skinny. Like, I don't think anybody can guarantee a result. Sorry. Unless they just say if you eat zero calories, you're going to waste away. Everybody's going to waste away on zero calories. Even the people in the starvation experiment, even they would eventually waste away if they weren't eating anything at all. So, I, I don't know. This man seems very confused and frustrated. And uh, I don't know why. He gained five pounds with wheat and gummies. It sounded like that was something that you wanted, something that you were craving. And you decided to eat that it really wasn't that i was craving it at all i i just could not get enough down like i i used to i, I need more calories than i'm getting i i here's the thing like i struggle to like want to eat i hate eating if i didn't have to eat or sleep i wouldn't do either one i don't know what this body of mine does i have not added any fat but i will say this the reason I'm saying that is because this goes back to the late 90s when I really wasn't even that overweight. When I, There's one picture of me that survived all these years. We didn't have digital back then. We actually had actual photographs or uh, film. There's one that actually survived. And I'm looking at this. I'm like, what, was, what were you thinking? Why did you start on this whole thing? I started with keto first. And it's been a, it's been a nightmare, really. I've been craving like beef. 
so bad that I've everybody's gonna say, well, you need beef, man. Like I'm not craving fucking cake, donuts, and all that kind of other stuff too. Like, I mean, are you serious? I just happen to mention beef here. Just because I don't even know how many cows I've killed over the years. And it's just, it, it's at my go to. But it, like, if you put, like, I, I would have, I, like, I could use, I could eat two containers, like the full size containers of Oreos, like right now. Wait, what? Let me go back. Let me go back. I have not added any fat, but I will say this is I've been craving. I have had an, is, an issue with insulin my entire life, which is why. When I went on the fruitarian thing, everybody's going to get so mad because I'm interluding so much. Um, <laughs> 17 minutes. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, what was it? Well, oh, which is why when I, when I went fruitarian, because fruit requires very little, if any, insulin. That's pro that, I mean, the weight was falling off. Like, I mean, it was ridiculous like beef <laughs> he's been craving beef he's been listening to nutrition by victoria he's said that he hasn't added in any fat and people like nutrition by victoria i've heard her say things like well if you don't eat any fat your body will just eat off all the fat on your body because you're not taking in any fat that's not always going to be the case they act like there's humans have so many thousands of genes and a lot of them is just for the metabolism so you're not going to get the exact exact same result as somebody else you're not it's pretty rare Okay, and you are out here craving beef. You. I should have said everything I'm craving. I mean, it's it, like I could go clean out a donut place. I could go, but the thing is, I don't do moderation. I don't do mod. Most people don't do moderation. It's not like if you're trying to give up cigarettes, you just have one on the weekends on Saturday. I mean, you haven't really given anything up. It, it, like I can eat a cake, not a piece. Probably. <laughs> Again, I'm not giving advice, but I'm saying that if I was craving beef, I would just eat it. But that's just me. Okay. You are craving beef. It's not like you're out of your mind craving beef because you're obviously hungry on this carb diet. Your body obviously needs something that's not found in rice and whatever else you eat in gummies and stuff. So bad that I've started watching this dude, Joel Hansen, uh, doing food competitions. It is yeah, getting yeah, this is some in-state vegan stuff. When you watch mukbangs, I don't know what food competition is, but you'll be eating your vegan crap, watching people eating meat at the same time. This is some really, really in-state vegan where you just don't want to admit to yourself that you want something. Well, he's admitted to himself, but sometimes you don't want to admit it to yourself that you want what they're eating. There's really no reason for you to continue this um, psychosis and, and you craving beef. Why? Is he an animal rights you know, activist vegan? No. Not at all. Um, I, no. I just I don't feel like going back to that smelling like ammonia, puking up stomach acid. I mean, he doesn't know my story like at all. I, I was I, I used to eat like that, like that Joel Hansen I, uh, that I've just mentioned, he's got these hats and shirts that said, I eat animals. Like I was so proud of it back in the day. And then I, my body just shut down. Like I could not digest the stuff anymore. I, I don't know if I ever could, but I could not digest the stuff anymore. I just could not. Like I mentioned earlier in this video, even if I have too much protein coming from anything, any source, the first day or two, I'll smell really bad, like under the, my left armpit. And then after that, I start smelling like ammonia. I got Windex over here. I literally start smelling like Windex because even at, when I get my blood test done, my kidneys are still off. I just cannot digest protein at all. Like I just can't digest it. So I, I have to have very minimal amount. If you're listening to Dorian Ryder and Nutrition by Victoria and all them, it sounds like you're just a, probably just a diet-based vegan. So I don't see why you won't just skip the beef. Like, just do it. I haven't watched a lot of this channel, but, um, in fact, I barely have watched anything. But I don't know how NDP is with the Nutrition by Victoria and the um, Dorian Ryder brainwashing where they'll tell you, oh, if you're craving anything, you just need to, you know, smash in the carbs. You're under carbs, you know, smash in more carbs. They'll tell you. 
Not really. I don't really listen to anybody. The only person I ever listened to was Arnold, and he's the one that, that helped me lose the majority of the weight. Like, I loved being raw, but I didn't like dealing with being raw. Like, I, I did not like dealing with having to have, like, 80 to 120 pounds of bananas on stock at all times to, for the uh, ripening process. I didn't like the fruit flies. I didn't like the fact that I was cold all the time. But the weight, like, it's so effortless to lose weight on raw. It's, it's, it's like a cheat code. If you're craving beef, you just need And to I was eating at one point, and this is, I didn't calculate every day. I calculated by how much I was buying and how much I was going through food. I was averaging seven to 8,000 calories a day. And everybody's like, well, raw food doesn't really count calorie wise. I'm like, oh, okay. I think that makes sense. To go and drink a banana smoothie through this video, because it's quite sad to see somebody craving beef, craving something very specific. And for some reason, they won't allow them. They will crave cookies and Taco Bell. You're going to tell them to go eat cookies and Taco Bell like that? I mean, that's just not a very good idea. Themselves to eat it. In 14 years, you gave 14 years to this thing. Like, isn't that enough? <laughs> enough is enough. I was fatter eating the way you're taught. Like, when I used to eat what I craved, I was over 400 pounds. You want me to, go, uh, like, I'm not going back to that. Sorry. Really insane. After my. After I started shutting down, I probably got to about 375 on like a really strict eating like high quality because like I said, I worked in the food distribution. Once I was out of that, I still knew people in food distribution. I could get the best of the best, of the best. And I got to like 375 and I was so strict. I'm like, I love meat. All I want to do is eat meat. And then I would start adding like broccoli and stuff into it because I'm like, well, you know, probably ha should have something else with it. And I got to, like, it was great up until about 2000, probably 2008 into 2009. And then all of a sudden I'm like, why am I like, and I'm not saying it was great, great. There's other things. Like if you go watch my channel, um, I was doing keto for two years and then I couldn't sleep. I couldn't, I smelled terrible. I started losing hair. Um, it was, it was a host of issues. So I went to this doctor and he's like, dude, this is killing you. So they, and he had this, um, basically nutrition lab attached to his practice. And he had like this, he was really into working out and he had this gym and everything. And they, they brought me in there. They put me on a treadmill. They, put this thing on my, over my face, or over my uh, nose and mouth. They hooked electrodes and stuff up to me and they figured out how many calories that I needed a day. And they actually cooked this stuff for me. And it was like, almost like a Mike Menzer split, like 75% carbs and then protein and fat for the other 25%. And I gained weight like crazy. Like crazy. And he's like, well, I don't know why this isn't working. You're cheating. I'm like, L you can literally like hospitalize me. So I can't like, I, I said, I'm not cheating. Like I don't like eating. And when I do eat, it's so, um, so then I went back on keto and I, again, and I like kind of started hearing about this carnivore. I'm like, hell yeah. Like I'll just eat beef. And, but at, at some point my body shut down. And I got to like 375 and I'm like, screw it. I'm just going to eat whatever I want. I'm fat anyway. And so that's when, you know, this, oh, I'm craving this. I'll go eat it. I'll, I'm craving this. I'll go eat it. Got old, well over 400. I'm like, I don't know what to do I about know what this you do. at all. What you I don't could do. I'm not giving you advice. I'm not telling you what to do, but you could just acknowledge that you have a craving and stop being so resistant to it. I don't know what to do with this severe craving that I've got. This has happened to me in the past too. I remember this this channel literally was just supposed to be my journey, and now this I'm is talking making me about really, really sad. It it really, really is. Genders in the. I hate this video. Like I'm taking this video down. So this is the last you're ever going to see this video because it's just. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Paris Olympics and I'm talking about all this other stuff 
not what I initially intended on talking about. I'm not even center focused here. I think I need to split this channel up because I this topic is driving me nuts. Like part of me just I almost hate this channel. Like I, I really I'm gonna start another channel and talk about some other stuff. I go through these phases and I think a lot of people Because when you talk about this all the time, it kind of keeps you in like this weird mind space probably go through these phases my ex is like dude you got to drop this channel a long time ago and the, the ones especially who don't maybe lose weight i go through the phases like i'm real motivated and I, you know and here's the thing i have not cheated on this diet at all since i started it which is almost four months ago now actually i think it is four months because i started it like over four months March 30th or something. I, th I think today is actually four months. I'm almost positive. I'm almost positive. He today said he's been doing whatever he's doing for I four months. And I don't know exactly what that means. So I'm just going to assume it's an all carb, low fat or no fat diet. Well, if you went back and looked at my videos, you'd know what I was talking about. But you didn't do any research. I started this because it's July 30th and I started it on like March 30th, somewhere in that range. So it's, it's either a uh, four months to today or like within that range. I haven't done anything. I haven't added any kind of, over I can't even, I'm, I can't even stomach watching my own video. Overt fats whatsoever at all. I have noticed that adding salt in to my I make the watermelon juice in the morning. I have noticed that that really helps with um, the cellar sizer, which is in the other room. I don't get it. I don't get it. You know, pretty. That's about the only thing that I like about this video. I, I maintain no matter what your diet is, like the cellar sizer, meaning rebound or whatever you want to call it, is definitely uh, a. Ken did talk about this in his books, and I've I've reviewed his books that he did notice that some people would have this initial decent amount of weight loss and then they I'm just naturally a big dude. I'm not trying to fight it anymore. I just, the water retention is driving me crazy. It's not too bad today, but that's largely what I'm trying to get rid of. It would plateau, but he did find that through testing the fat composition and muscle composition and water and everything that they were actually starting to gain muscle. If it'd be happening, I don't know. I'm not going to sway from the diet. I want to see this through. If it is hormonal, I guess I could get my bloods tested. I don't know. I'm no, not okay. Oh man, I don't know if I want to keep going. This this video is a struggle to watch. I wanted to make. I a think video. this man should get his bloods tested anyway, just because. If you're a long term, I was a pin cushion for a very long time. Pin cushion, like that. I can't even tell you how many times I had to get everything tested because I was having my ankle replaced back in 2020. And then after that, they wanted to keep testing. Nothing ever came out, out, out of ordinary other than my kidney issues. And it's not as bad as it used to be. But when I was eating more protein, even on a vegan thing, I can definitely, I, you, you can smell it. You can smell it in, in me. I, I can't get the smell off of me. So like I, whatever I did, <laughs> eating all of that protein back in the day just doesn't seem to leave. Turn vegan, I think you need to regularly get everything tested, you know, just to make sure. Nothing's ever out. And everybody's like, well, you need B12 and you need blah, blah, blah. You know, like B12, I, th I think it's like 21% of the entire population of the planet is low in B12. And it's like 1% if that. Are, are vegans so it's not just vegans and then the vitamin d is anything like from georgia mid california north is is like low in vitamin d just because we don't get the sun for like five months of the year being very transparent about this whole thing because I started this channel like three years ago now and I have lost weight. When I started the channel, I was 292.3 or something like that. And I had, some people don't believe me, I gained the weight on 50-50 plate. And I was- That thing was terrible. Don't do it. 50-50 plate, isn't that where like plentiful kiki and- High carb hand and all the starch solution people will be talking in McDougal. They'll put like half their plate with potatoes and then the other half with broccoli. <laughs> Isn't that? Yeah, it? and then they live on stimulants the rest of their life. That is no way to live. It, 
fortune on the 50-50 plate because broccoli and cauliflower were like my main non-starchy vegetables and they're stupid expensive, even more so now. The gas that I was getting from this was insane. Like I couldn't go anywhere without farting. Like I was farting everywhere. I'm like, this is ridiculous. And then I, I started like just gaining weight. And if you, if I look at the Minnesota starvation study, these dudes got- hmm. All right, I can't take this video anymore. Um, anyway, I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace. Like, subscribe if you feel like it.